approximately there are 40,000 worlds. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear respected brothers and sisters, honorable listeners, there is a verse in the Quran which we read on a daily basis, every salah and every rakat of each salah. This verse is the first verse of Surah Fatiha, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. And most of us know the translation of this verse, all praise belong to Allah, the sustainer of all the worlds. The point which I would like to make today is on the word Al-Alameen. is a plural of Al-Alam, which means all the worlds, all of the universes, all of the kingdoms. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used the plural and He didn't use the singular, Al-Alam. The reason to this is, the narration can be found in tafsir of Imam Qurtibi rahimahullah and the authority of Abu Sa'id al-Khudri radiallahu ta'ala an, who has stated that approximately there are 40,000 worlds and our world, our planet which we live on is one of them and beside this there are many more, approximately 40,000. According to one narration, there are 80,000 worlds and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is looking after all these worlds and He is sustaining them. And from this verse we can also derive that there may be creatures there may be other living, living creation on, on the other worlds. And this can also be derived from another verse. وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ خَلْقُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ That amongst the signs of Allah is the creation of the heavens and the earth. وَمَا بَثَّ فِيهِمَا مِنْ كُلِّ دَابَةِ And the living creatures which Allah has spread throughout the heavens and the earth. From this the ulama state, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has clearly mentioned that there are living creatures in the heavens and earth. The word Daba. Daba means any creature that moves. Any creature that walks is classified as Daba in the Arabic language. So from this again we can understand there are living creatures in other worlds. And it's not necessary that we have to know, the human being has to know. And it's not necessary that they have to have a live, uh, a living system like us. That's why the great Imam Fakhruddin Razi rahimahullah is mentioned, answering the objection that if there are creatures, if there are living things in other planets, then we don't have oxygen and air in those areas. But the answer to this is very simple. That it's not necessary that the creation in the other worlds or planets, they need oxygen or air like we do. But my brothers, the most important thing which I would like to emphasize in this world on this word that Allah has mentioned He is the sustainer of all the universes, all of the worlds. And Allah is directing our imagination, our contemplation towards the creation. In today's day and age, in living in a time where technology is advancing on a daily basis, the human being is so busy and engaged in contemplating in the creation of the creation that he has forgotten to contemplate in the creation of the Creator, which is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. His creation, the heavens, the earth, the sun, the moon. By contemplating in these things, we will recognize the, the, the strength, the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why a Bedouin, a villager was asked, does Allah exist? The Bedouin replied, what a stupid question you have asked. al tudullu ala al ba'ir if we are walking inside a desert and you see the droppings of a camel, you will have this yaqeen and conviction that a camel has walked past here. And if you are walking inside a desert and you see the footprint of a person, you will have this yaqeen and conviction that a person has walked past here. So on small, small signs, you have the belief and yaqeen of the existence of that being. So my brothers, in this day and age, we have to contemplate in the creation. But the technology today, the asbab, the material of this world today has diverted our attention in, from contemplation inside the creation of the actual creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability and tawfiq to contemplate inside his creation in order to recognize the creator.